Once upon a time, during the Renaissance, the 1500s, in Italy, mathematicians would hold public competitions, during which they would challenge each other to solve problems. Those who won these competitions were renowned and could easily find employment. Therefore, mathematicians kept their knowledge secret in order to have an advantage in competition. This brings us to the kind of problem that was common during the period. It involved solving cubic equations, that is, equations of the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. Many mathematicians believe there was no general solution to this equation. This brings us to Scipion del Ferro, who studied at the University of Bologna. There he solved what is called the depressed cubic equations of this form. Of course, he kept his solution secret, but on his deathbed, Del Ferro divulged the formula to his student, Antonio Fiore. Because of this formula, Fiore excelled in competitions solving depressed cubics. When another mathematician, Niccolo Tartaglia, claimed to be more adept at solving these kinds of problems. Fiori did not believe him. So Fiori challenged Tartaglia to a public competition. Nothing like an arm wrestling match, but a competition of wits. The two gave each other math problems to solve. Tartaglia gave Fiore cubic equations that couldn't be solved with the solution Del Ferro told him. Since Tartaglia had figured out, on his own, a solution to the general depressed cubic equation, he easily won the competition. Fiore was disgraced because of his loss, and he ran away, disappearing. Now, Girolamo Cardano came into the story. He was not the best role model for mathematicians today. In life, he was somewhat of a rat. Or a scoundrel. Impressed and intrigued with Tartaglia's ability to solve these equations, Cardano asked Tartaglia to share the solution with him. Tartaglia refused, guarding his secret. However, Cardano persisted until Tartaglia was willing to share, as long as Cardano promised never to publish the formula, and to never write it down except in code. Tartaglia created a contract, and Cardano signed it, promising not to share the solution. With the solution, Cardano was able to find two other solutions but could not publish them because they used Tartaglia's formula. Cardano grew restless waiting for Tartaglia to publish his solution so he could publish his without breaking the contract. After hearing a rumor that Tartaglia was not the first to find the formula for the cubic equation, Cardano investigated. He found evidence of Scipione del Ferro's original solution and decided that the contract he signed was no longer valid. Cardano published Ars Magna, with Tartaglia's solution included. Tartaglia was furious with Cardano and spent the rest of his life trying to discredit Cardano. Despite his great accomplishment with the cubic equation, Tartaglia died poor and with little fame. Now, who says math isn't exciting? 